I'm Bush Ninja. Welcome to my medicine blanket. If I had one thing to tell the whole world about out of all the things I carry, it would be bee propolis. What is bee propolis? Well, it's one of the things that bees make. Bees make four things. They make honey, wax, propolis, and royal jelly, which they feed to the queen. But people ask, what is propolis? Well, this is propolis. What is it? What it is, I like to say in short, is tree blood mixed with bee magic. What that really means is it's resin from the buds of the leaves of the trees that the trees put over the baby leaves to protect them from bacteria and fungus. The bees come and they collect it, one proboscis full at a time, and bring it back to the hive. And they use it to seal and sterilize the hive, kind of like spackle. Anywhere there isn't honeycomb, they put propolis. It's highly antimicrobial, antibacterial, antifungal. Nothing will grow in it, and a chunk like this will last for a thousand years or more. So what I do, and what any beekeepers do, is as they're opening the hive, they actually have to scrape the hive and they collect it. So that's what this is. This is hive scrapings of propolis. And it's this resin that's not soluble in water, it's not soluble in fat, but it is soluble in alcohol. And so I use this, grain alcohol, or very high percentage alcohol. You're kind of like making a tincture, but it's a little different. We're literally just using the solvent action of the alcohol to dissolve the propolis in a jar. And the process for making it takes two jars. It takes the jar you make it in, which I'm gonna recreate for you here, and then the container that you put it in, that you use to distribute it. And what happens is the alcohol dissolves the propolis, and as you can see, there's a brown liquid floating on top here, and everything else that's below. All that stuff below, that goop, that's all the things that's not soluble in alcohol. It's still good stuff, but what I'm going for is this brown layer on top. So after it dissolves, I collect it just with the dropper off the top into the bottle that I use it to decant it for. I use it so much, I literally carry it in my pocket at all times, pretty much. And I use it for cuts and scratches and wounds, any kind of open wound, because it, le as the alcohol evaporates, it leaves behind this resiny layer that's kind of like a scab, but it's highly antimicrobial and antibacterial. And I hardly get infected wounds anymore. I use it to treat people and their wounds and even mouth stuff. It's incredible for mouth stuff. You can use it on an infected tooth, on a sore throat. The doctor's got nothing for you if you have a wound inside your mouth. And so this is not only really good for you, it boosts the immune system, it has found to have anti-cancer properties, and every batch is actually unique because the bees go to different trees and they collect it. So even if something enters the hive and they have to kill it like a rat, and they'll cover it in propolis, literally encasing it in amber so it won't rot. And so how to make it, it's very simple. I take all this raw propolis, which is actually kind of tricky stuff to get, and this propolis is actually African bee propolis that comes from Plettenberg Bay in South Africa, and a friend of mine's a beekeeper. So this has got a collection of hundreds of different plants that the bees go to to collect the medicine, and you need to use, like I said, 70% or higher alcohol. It's nice to get really like quality moonshine or something, but if you have to, you can use a commercial brand. Uh, and then you literally just pour it in. It's that simple. And the alcohol will immediately start to dissolve the resin. And you'll see in a few moments what will happen. So it starts out clear. We'll just leave a little bit in the top. Put the cap on. and Give it a good shake. Now this extraction takes a can take up to a week, depending also on how warm your environment is. I'm in South Florida right now, so this won't take very long. But if it was winter time and I was up north, it might take a little longer. One thing you can do is put it in a hot water bath to, uh, to help accelerate the process, because the heat will help the, the whole process to, to happen more quickly. And you can see even just in a few seconds, that clear alcohol has now turned this brown color. And as the chunks in there dissolve, all of that alcohol will hold the propolis inside of it. And then when I take it, so here we can pretend that it's been a week and I've got this jar. Now this jar is the one I've been making propolis in for a really long time. And you can tell that by all this sludge here that's on the bottom. But here, let me open it up for you. Now when I make it, 
You can buy propolis online commercially, but there's no regulation for how strong it is. So I make what I call full saturation, meaning it won't hold any more propolis. And so you want it to look dark brown when you, when you buy propolis anywhere, um, and, and, and for me. But sometimes you'll get it, it's like a pale yellow, and that's not so great. So you literally just take the alcohol off, which is now covered in, in, encased in propolis, or it's suffused with propolis, and that's it. And when I offer it to people, I, I either put it on their wounds directly, and then it'll evaporate and leave the resin behind, and as it evaporates, you can add another drop and add another drop, and it creates the scab I was talking about, where it's also spectacular in the throat. And you just drop it in the back of the throat. Mmm, so good. I call it an ancestral flavor, because this is literally something that our ancestors have tasted since the dawn of humanity. And it's my very favorite thing. I literally use it all the time, and I'm so grateful to be able to share it with you. And so I've just created this brand new batch of something I'm not usually even able to sell because I don't have enough. So I'm very grateful for my friend who exchanged me this raw propolis so that I can provide it to you. And so I will be having these little half ounce bottles and you can find them online on my Facebook webpage, which is Bush Ninja Botanicals. And uh, I hopefully will be up on the website just shortly too, which is bushninja.com. And I'm really grateful to be able to share this with you. Thanks for watching.